it's a legacy song of that era. I mean, just the fact that you're writing lyrics about greasing up your baby and that was an accidental hit. Would you would you well, call it? I didn't write it to be I didn't write it to be a hit. It's not like I wrote any singles on the record. So my whole thing was I'm just to do pretty much what I feel would be good for live. Write songs that would be good for live. So this record was a little less psychedelic and more the psychedelic stuff tends to get washing the bigger crowds. The sound ones. And so I wrote a, a tighter record that could be riffed, you know, it's the old Led Zeppelin trick, you know, like well, have the bass player play the exact same thing that the the uh, guitar player is playing. I was working out to how to make the punchiest live show. And I was looking to do something that I hadn't done on the previous records, which was more of a straight ahead hard rock. Because we've been doing psych and Sabbathy, psychedelia and all this kind of stuff. But we hadn't done basic hard rock in the band a lot. So that's what went into that record, plus the image. And I guess the two of them combined to, you know, snap something. Um, but I wasn't writing it to do hits. No, I was trying to be deliberately as weird as possible. You know, like Space Lord and those kind of songs. The, the lyrics are not for your average consumer. You no. Know? I mean, it's not like, I saw my baby today. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm talking about like having sex with planets and stuff, you know. <laughs> know. Like, very, very Jack Kirby inspired, comic book inspired on. Uh, a lot of delusions of grandeur. Like I said, it was it was, it was a blow against grunge, too, because I saw the worst, most horrible thing happen in the world, which is Nirvana, make it to number one, only to have the guy kill himself. Mm. And it was like, that's the message you send out? Hey, I'm in a rock and roll band and I made it, therefore I will kill myself? It was like, no, you're supposed to fucking dance up. And if you make it in a rock and roll band, you're supposed to go... Holy shit, I was living in a trailer park three years ago, and now I'm flying on airplanes representing. 